you see someone won like $2 billion Powerball? The largest Powerball jackpot lottery ticket ever was recently sold in California with one lucky resident winning a historic $2.04 billion. The odds were 1 in 292.2 million. Researchers told CNN that despite the extremely low chance of winning state lotteries, they'll aggressively market the lottery and sell tickets to low-income communities at higher rates. You see, they go in there and they, they force people. You can't get any. You go in there trying to get some milk for your kids. They're like, hold on there. You think you're about to get this milk Mm -hmm. without buying some of these here Powerball tickets? You Mm -hmm. got another thing coming, man. Mm -hmm. That's what they say when you go in there. That's what they do. I've seen it time and time again. Thus misleading Americans to believe it will help them quickly generate wealth. (laughs) Yeah, because everyone grows up knowing that there's a super great chance that they're going to win the Powerball. I mean, you can't win if you don't play. These communities, quote, these communities are disproportionately made up of black and brown people. Critics say the consequence is that marginalized people will be driven into deeper debt by a system that is transferring wealth out of their communities. Well, first of all, they're not forcing them to play. But even if you do want to play, it's $2. Yeah. Two bucks. But you can buy a lot of tickets. You can buy them often. They don't make you buy tickets. No. They don't make you buy no. a lot of tickets, and they don't make you buy them often. Mm-mm. It's literally an option. If you wanted to play, you can literally buy a $2 ticket. But we're going to need to look at the results, and we're going to have to start rigging the lottery in favor of, I mean, I know you don't put your race on the ticket, <laughs> but we're going to have to find out how to make sure that black and brown people are winning the lottery more often. Well, there's going to have to be more than one winner now. We're going to mm-hmm. need an equ- equitable distribution <laughs> among the races. So the, na- the national director for stop predatory gambling called the lottery, a form of consumer financial fraud and a form of systemic racism. God. You see why you can't take these people seriously yeah. at all. This, the, the lottery, experts. which you can freely choose to do or freely choose to not do, which is in every single damn gas station you go to is part of systemic racism. Yeah. And when you're watching people burn down buildings out there to fight systemic racism, the f***ing Powerball is what they're talking about right there. That's where you got to start. That's what it is. You got to start with the lottery. (laughs) That's where you start. You know? That's how you dismantle this system. We're going to take down (laughs) predatory gambling and unfettered, uncapped capitalism. You got to start with a game you choose to play. (laughs) <laughs> it's a rigged game. It's a rigged game. You know what they should do? They should take when someone wins. They should take it and they should divide it out evenly between everyone who played the Powerball based on the amount of tickets they bought. You can't do that now because rich people can buy more tickets. Yeah, but everyone would just get their money back. <laughs> but the state could take taxes out of it. Yeah, <laughs> so you all get a little bit less back. You're pretty yeah. good welfare system. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, uh, all right, that's number six. Well, the end of the article <laughs> here is important. Oh, sorry. So CNN pointed out it, uh, in a report in 1999, <laughs> so we're going back 23 years, uh, that found black Americans, high school dropouts, and low-income people played the lottery on a more frequent basis. Of course they do. <laughs> They're the ones who need the money more. Do you know that it's, it, it, it's literally based on economic status? It's not. It doesn't have anything to do whatsoever with the color of your skin. It's all economic status. No, it's purely color of your skin, Charlie. You know this. I bet you in this last cycle, Jeff Bezos didn't buy a single billion dollar Powerball yeah. ticket. No, yeah. because he's white. Because he's white. That's, That's why. why. Yeah. There's no, nothing else to do with anything. Not because he has a hundred billion. He no. would love to win two billion. <laughs> You know, that's that. That's the reason why I couldn't use Elon Musk because he's, he's technically African American. Oh yeah, so so he's tar- able to I do that. Bet, he, he probably he probably out there buying all kinds of Powerball tickets all the time. Dude Can't bought a stop billion him. dollars worth of Powerball tickets. <laughs> <laughs> His contribution made up half the prize money, and he still couldn't win. Oh, oh man. <laughs> 